This is your video orientation to LJS 56 from the Schoenberg Collection and the Kislak Center, University of Pennsylvania Libraries. This is a copy of Vinito Paolo's Logica Parva. It was written in Padua in about 1420. And this would have been during the time that Paolo was a lecturer at the university. It's written in an Italian Gothic script. It has a limp vellum binding contemporary with the manuscript. What's most notable about this manuscript is that it's written on both paper and parchment. And you can see how it's organized. So here we have a one choir ending and another beginning. And you can see that both of these have parchment. So it starts with parchment. And then we have a few pages of paper. And then we have another page of parchment. So what they've done is the, the inside, we can see here that we're in the middle of the choir because you can see the stitching. The interior pages and the exterior pages of all the choirs in this manuscript are parchment, while the rest of the pages are paper. And this was done because it was believed at this time when paper was first being used in, in books that the paper wouldn't be strong enough to hold up to the stitching. So they would put parchment in those places where the stitching would, would be the most stressful. And I hadn't seen it before, but um, I've been assured that this, is, this was a fairly common practice at this time. So that's quite interesting. If you'd like to find out more about this manuscript, you can visit Pen in Hand. There are high-resolution digital images of every page along with a complete description of the manuscript. This has been your video orientation to LJS 56.